Here we are on the brook at Coldstream, Gaze River, and there are a few adits along this brook, but we'll start with this one. We'll consider this one adit number one, and it's a uh, it's got a mouth collapse. You can see a big chunk of the rock from the ceiling has fallen down to the bottom. But we did discover there's a rat hole up top, so let's go there and take a look. There's the brook in the distance, and there's where the mouth is there. But up top here, where I'm standing, there is a hole. And this is really the only access to this first at it. Um, he's already down in there. And it's pretty cramped quarters. I'm down the hole now, and this is basically what you see. I'm just at the bottom of the hole, basically. Uh, he's down in here very low ceiling and he is uh, analyzing where this may be possibly going and looking over here there's the outdoors and there's up the hole to the forest All right, he's gonna do some belly crawling to see what's up ahead there. There, there, is a, there is a continuation. It looks like it's, it gets a little, does it get a little bigger? I don't know yet. Okay. I think it's a no-go, we're just confirming. Yeah, he's, uh, from what he's seen, it seems like that's the end. So he's just gonna go up ahead there to confirm that. It's spidery up there, he's saying, but that is the confirmed end. So here's a shot of him from just a little closer. There's not much room to really move around in here to get up there with him, but... Uh... All right, on our way out here, uh, here's just to give you a perspective, a little rat hole we had to come down through. That's what it looks like uh, from down inside and you just come down this dirt pile that's caved in from the forest. That's where we have to go now. So let's head back out to the surface. Okay, he's coming out now. We're gonna catch him coming out the rat hole here. We'll jump up. There we go. <laughs> Another birth by Mother Earth. There we go. And just around the corner from at it number one, the rock face kind of continues down the brook and there's a bunch of little indents here with that. It's two, three, and I think four if we go down far enough. So uh, again, just to give you perspective, there is the, uh, the brook. And off to the side of these uh, is the hillside with the, uh, the rock face. Let's go along a little further. All right, there's the rock face and here's at it number two. There's up to the forest floor above. Again, this one's very wide, but uh, not very uh, tall. And that is uh, an end to the ceiling there, although up there to the upper right corner, we're going to take a little investigation there and see if it goes any further at all, but that's our only hope if it does. These are only approximately, oh, I'd say 30 to 40 feet deep from the opening. Okay, we're gonna head in now, see what's up. Again, this is at it number two here in Coldstream. If there's any hope, it's gonna be up to that distant right corner. He's checking out that, uh, distant right corner to see where it may or may not go. There's the mouth again. I'm deeper in uh, to where it goes off to the right. Here's some of the, uh, the rock piles. There's the ceiling. He's up ahead. And what are you finding? 
Uh, so to the left, they did a little uh, stope. Okay. Kind of stope the area, and then straight ahead, it looks like a dead end. It looks like they kind of backfilled it a little bit. Okay. So a confirmed end for this one. Add it number two. Okay, we're heading out now. Add it number two. I'm just laying up here in the back corner. There's the mouth to the forest, and he's going to head out there, and I'm next. Do do do. Back outside of Adit number two, there's the rock face. There is uh, there's the mouth of Adit number two again, and the rock face continues down. There's uh, another small opening there. That's number three. If we look down further. The rock face continues. There's allegedly another fourth and fifth heading down the brookside. So let's keep going. And here's opening or at it number three. And this one again is sort of that same wide yet flat shape. And it goes in there. It looks like a big room in there. They're each a little different, so we're gonna go in and check this one out as well. I'm in here a ways, maybe 40 feet from the mouth, just sitting up here in a corner. He's gonna come in. This one is a little more extensive. Um, it goes off down there into the distance, further than I can see with my light. And there's some little rat holes off to the side. And behind me is a... Uh, tunnel that goes off into the distance in there as well, but it's very narrow. We're going to have to crawl on our bellies into that one. All right, he's going to go off ahead of me there, down into the distance, and as you can see, um, it goes, well, from, from my point of view here, it goes at least another hundred feet. Um, and just looking back where I was sitting, there's that, uh, that other section in there that has, uh, a lot of collapse and fill right here. But for now, we're gonna head down through here, take a look at what's going on. Like I said, there's lots of little digs off to the left and the right, little chambers, little stopes. I was looking back to the entrance, the hard left turn that we had to come around and the drift uh, continues. Like I said, these little digs off to the side are everywhere. Here's another offshoot to the side and that goes in about oh, 30, 40 feet into there. I think I see an end up there, but there's a mud hump. So you never know till you get up to it. There's back towards the uh, the mouth again, that's down there off to the right. He's making his drawings and mappings. There's um, some backfilling there into the, uh, into a little stope that was cut into the side. They started using them to uh, pile the rocks back in manually. So they're stacked kind of like cordwood in there. And uh, then that way they didn't have to take them all the way out the mouth. So as we go down here, there's, there's more. There's one there in the middle of the drift. Let's keep going. All right, coming around the corner here, I'm noticing there's uh, there's looking down the drift still into the distance. There's a offshoot here to the side. It's all full of water and mud in there, but there's some more of that wood. Sorry, there's some more of that rock stacked like cordwood right there. So if you look at the rock here that's all over the floor and stuff, it seems to break when they when they broke it off. It's almost like logs. Everything's very square and uh, straight edged. And that's why they could, uh, as we can see here, it's all stacked like cordwood. If I can get my footing. See that there? Beautiful. Let's continue down the drift here some. It's very extent, way more extensive than I thought it would be. 
Everything, of course, is very neatly piled. There's more rat holes off to the side. But all of the, the rocks continue to be neatly piled on the sides like, uh, like firewood. We haven't seen that in a Nova Scotia mine yet. Oh, here's one piled up as a pillar. Man, there's a lot of it down in here. There's one that uh, goes from floor to ceiling. Another little offshoot there to the side. Here's something that's died and moss has taken over. An extreme close up. That's about the size of a jelly bean. Don't know what it is though. If there's looking back down towards the mouth, way in the distance. We're probably a good 100, 125 feet in so far. There's still a ways to go, but let's have a look around this room. There's a cavern in there. There's, of course, the, uh, the pile holding up the ceiling. He's still ahead of me down there. That looks like an end, though, is it? I'm at, I'm at the end. Oh, it's a confirmed end down there. Here's our left turn. And it may actually go down to another, add it to the outside, but we're, he's gonna go down and check it out. There's the confirmed end up there. Let's head up there and just have a look at it. All right, here's the end. And it has a few little offshoots like so. And that's really about it for the end of this attic. This is the offshoot to the left and he just came back from down there and reports that it does come to a, an end in some water. So let's take a look down there and see what he saw. Okay, he's doing his photography. I'm off to the left sh offshoot here. It's just looking back into the the main drift. There's that uh, pile of rocks again that are stacked up to hold up that part of the ceiling. And here's looking down that offshoot and there's the water down there to the right, that dark patch. Okay, here we are down here at the water and this is the, uh, the offshoot to the left and it goes down there and basically ends and here's waded into the water a little bit before it gets too deep to go over my boots. There's uh, looking down. I'll turn the light up a bit. There's, uh, there's the end down there where the water ends around the corner, probably another 30 feet away. That's what she looks like down here. Standing in my rubber boots almost to the top, folks. We're on our way out now and uh, that's looking back. And here we are near the entrance where we first passed this uh, this offshoot off the drift to, that was to the right. And we could belly crawl in there, but we're seeing that it's much like all the others. We're just going to let it go. There's a bit of, looks like grass and there's a lot of spiders. So we're just going to let this one go. All right, let's head back out. Here's the, uh, here's the drift back to the forest right behind us. All right, here he is taking pictures out of mouth number three. We're back outside now. And there's looking down the rock face and down the brook. Now four and five are over here. And they seem to be full of water, so let's go have a look. All right, we're down here at Adit number four. And unfortunately, this one does have a cave in the mouth, but if you look inside, it's basically, uh, it's water. That's basically what we're dealing with here at the mouth. It goes right down there to some water. Let's shine down there. And it goes right to the roof. The sun suddenly came out and here we are down at, at it number five, which is under this tree. 
Ooh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, this one, uh, this one is filled to the brim with water. I may have went somewhere one day, but it's, uh, this one must be too low. We ain't gonna get in that one today. It's a big tree growing up out of it. So that brings us to the end of all five adits side by side here in uh, Coldstream, Gaze River area. Uh, we'll bid you farewell here by the brookside. We'll see you next time.